So our final race from Kempton this week is race 14. It's the Lanzagrotti Handicap Hurdle. Over extended two and a half miles. So Sarah Gosa, manuscript for Leon Ren Rensberg, is the favourite, number one. Lay your love on me for Pontypool Racing is two. Mrs. Dolph, Kevin Meenham is three. Legalizer Paul O'Neill is four. Redwood Edition for Damon Robertson is five. Olez Din for Darren Thompson is six. Flew the Alpha Vin Gerald is seven. Laser Clarity for Paul O'Neill is eight. Seal Team for Paul Rhodes is nine. Grip It and Tip It for Ryan Costello is ten. And Signatory Oki for Thomas Rogers, along with Teamster Masquerade, are eleven and twelve. Now there's a hurdle course here to try and win the Lanza Grey. I'm going to wait for it to settle down as they approach the first of the nine hurdles they'll have to take. And uh, nobody wants to take it on. It's a pretty pedestrian pace. There's plenty of reluctant leaders, which are Lay Your Love On Me, Laser Clarity, Seal Team, and Ola's Tin. Grey Signatory Oki. The one out wide here is Legal Mate of Ola's Tin, the Legal Eyes. Up towards the fence is Mrs. Dorf for Kevin Meenahan. Green silks, orange cap and sash, or hoop should I say. Back towards the rear is the favourite, Saragossa Manuscript in the blue silks. And that's out of that signatory Oki now. Wider still is Teamster Masquerade. And, uh, just towards the fence, up against the fence at the rear is Redwood Edition. So with no pace on here, it's Lay Your Love On Me that's going to take them to the next, which is the second, with Seal Team on his outside. And they're just followed through by legalising Mrs. Doyle. Aladstin is up against the fence in the red silks, red cap, white star. Just on the outside of that, grip it and tip it. And laser clarity. Where's that? Oh, that's a tin. Oh, no, that's a little that's a tin up front. As they take the second, they finally get through to it. Some poor jump in that. So I have to do better than that over these hurdles. So it is Lay Your Love On Me, reluctantly leading from Legalize and Seal Team. This is Dawn and Grip It and Tip It. Bit of better jump in there. Lazatin didn't take it at all well. Packed on landing. Big mistake. Shuffled right back towards the rear of the pack now. But Lay Your Love On Me will take us past the winning post for the first time. We have another circuit to go. It is Lay Your Love On Me from Seal Team in second and Legalize up against the fence. Mrs. Doyle. Grip It and Tip It. Signatory Oki the Great. And the favourite, Saragossa Manuscript, followed through by Alazatin, Redwood Edition. And just a three at the rear, Teams to Masquerade, Fluvial, and Laser Clarity. And we'll finally get to this next hurdle. A mile and a half still to go. And then Lay Your Love on Me that takes them over the fourth. And better jumping there by everybody. Still teams in second, Legalise and Mrs. Doyle. Too excited about in this race so far. We go through a further quarter mile. It's still Lay Your Love On Me from Seal Team. This is Dora Redwood Editions moved up now into challenge for second, along with Legal Eyes. Moving well on the fence is Saragossa Manuscript. And the outside of that is a Lazatin trying to make up some ground. And Signatory Oki the Great. And Fluvial and Grip It and Tip It. Laser Clarity and Teamster Masquerade. But there's probably only 10, 12 links between first and last, and they're all still in this as they come down to a mile from home. But it is still Lay Your Love that, on me that's uh, leading them. By about four from Legal Eyes, Redwood Edition, Mrs. Doyle, and Seal Team all together. We finally get to the six. Four from home. And inside the mile now, it's Lay Your Love on me still from Legal Eyes, Redwood Edition, Mrs. Doyle, Seal Team. All pretty close order here. You think you take this. The favourites up against the fence towards the rear of the chasing pack. Well, the rear didn't take that at all well, it was Teamster Masquerade. But Lay Your Love On Me's advantage is down to just about half a length now as Laser Clarity draws alongside. And they're a little bit wide on the course here as they're going to come down to swinging right handed to line up for the judge top of the bend, but it's still Lay Your Love On Me, although off the bridle now being pushed along, Laser Clarity hasn't asked for anything, Lazatin's moved out a little bit wider, on the inside is Legal Eyes, pushing along his Redwood Edition, well they're all under a bit of pressure now, but Lay Your Love On Me is still leading, he's got half a length from Laser Clarity, who looked very comfortable in his haunches, but we're inside the final half a mile, and it is Lay Your Love On Me from Laser Clarity, and they're about two lengths away from Legal Eyes, everybody else is trying to make up some ground now, the one that's trying to push through is Saragossa Manuscript, he's carrying top weight, and doesn't seem to be picking up, so we 
with two and a half furlongs to go. It's lay your love on me still. From laser clarity, legal eyes, Saragossa manuscript starts to make a move. Mrs. Stroll trying to plug on. The outside of that is Redwood Edition to go for the eight to four jump by lay your love on me. Oh, the screen stopped. Laser clarity, I can't see it. It's all gone peak Tom. But it is lay your love on me. From laser clarity as we come down to the furlong. It's lay your love on me. Laser clarity to go over the last. A poor jump by lay your love on me. He's allowed laser clarity to take it up. So it's laser clarity being chased down by Stephen Mate Legal Eyes and Sarah Gosa Manuscript. But laser clarity still got a length advantage. He's going to take it from Legal Eyes in second. Sarah Gosa Manuscript run on for third. So uh, a double there for Paul O'Neill. First and second. Takes it with Legal Eyes Clarity. Laser Clarity, sorry, <laughs> Lee Clyde was his second. Saragossa Manuscript was third. Fourth was, uh, I think, Davy Robertson's horse. Redwood Edition, but it is a 1 2 for Paul O'Neill. Well done. Third was Saragossa Manuscript for Leon Van Rensburg. Fourth was Redwood Edition for Davy Ladd. And five was Flew the Alpha, Vinnie Gerard.